Welcome back, Brave Fighters. Today we are back with some Group A action. Yeah, yeah, I might have messed up the groups in the last video, but you're... But your emperor has got it back this time. We have Sir 300 playing as boy. Playing as boy, going up against... Oh, going up against a bitter rival of the emperor. His name is Waffle over here as our mania. Let's take a peek at our mania. He's got some cav, showing some cav. Cav is going to be huge here. I would really expect, you know, cav to play a final deciding factor in this battle as we see we've got a pretty lengthy battle 19 minutes we'll see if we got some speed ups but we'll take a peek at the armies some royal cataphracts with waffle the armenians and a noble blood calf there let's check out the other calf a persian calf okay and another noble blood calf beautiful moving with the eastern spearmen bit a uh, bit weak but uh they will do what they can and the general the azat knights here's his front line he's got a heavy calf he's got some axemen I see four, four Axemen right there. Some Hillmen. And finishing it off with two more Axemen and one Cartley Axemen. He's going to need to keep that Cartley Axemen safe here. Very, very safe. And two Hillmen, one on each flank. You know, it's a great... To the Emperor, it is a great flanking unit. Now let's take a peek at the Archers. Two Eastern Archers. Three. Make that four, baby. My favorite number. Four Eastern Archers. Archers, it's gonna be pretty mild. Let's take a peek. You know what? Just we, we we saw the arrows. Let's take a peek at the arrow of boy, a Celtic slinger. And this looks like a Celtic slinger. So he's he's a, I think I would say at this point he is out archered. Here's boy trying to go up against the cavalry of Armenia, which it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. But he's got a heavy horse and a light horse and the general, the noble horse with a levy freeman and a Celtic warrior forming that army. Let's check out more cav. What is that? Looks like about five. Is that five? Five calf? And he's moving his calf together. Another light horse and another heavy horse. So good balance, you know, as all things should be, as Thanos said. Thanos is our hero. Thanos is our god, damn it. Another Levy Freeman is opting to keep him there. Probably pretty smart. Levy Freeman? Cheap? Effective? What, what else could you ask for, damn it? What else could you ask for? Now, here is the front line, the melee, which I really, really expect to do well against these Persians as long as 300 can keep the Armenians off of his flank. Here's the Celtic warriors on the sides. More Celtic wars. There we go. An O sword. Those are a beastly unit. Two sword followers. Three, four, five, six, five. Okay, five. There's an axe warrior. And you've got a mighty axe warrior as they are just staring each other down, feeling each other out. They, they, it's almost like they're like, where can I give you a massage? Where do I need to give you a massage? And let's let's just speed it up, see what we can get here. Just what is this double speed? I got I got what is it? Double speed day? I guess they're just still staring at each other as SpongeBob says menacingly. Just one waiting to push, one waiting to strike, and the anticipation is killing me. This was a magnificent battle. I remember this one. This happened about. Oh, what was this? About five days ago from this time of this recording. This is a, this is a beauteous battle, as the Emperor says, as the Armenians letting the Levy Freeman come together. They're going to be coming together with his own calf. They're pouring in. They're, they're, they're pouring in the water. They're, they're starting to boil some water. They're getting ready. It, it, it is a superb analogy, damn it. You, you can't bash my analogy. It is the best analogy ever. As there's some calf movement, let's see if something is gonna happen. Wait, as he already told him the halt, and the Armenians opting to send a royal cataphract around his own flank. The calf it looks like they're op. They, they, they want to get a skirmish here. This is gonna be play big factor at the end of the game. Who is going to win this calf engagement? If he can get those or catch those royal cataphracts, those, that shot calf off guard. He can get in there and just start mailing them to death, but he's gonna have to deal with those two noble blood calf and that's, that's gonna be hard. That's gonna be hard, hard, as the Emperor says, damn it. If you don't know, then you can go on twitch.tv slash curvebubbles and check out your lovely Emperor. He'll be there. Oh, oh, you're asking when will he be there? He'll be there every night, damn it. Every stinking night as we see some movement. We see some beautiful movement from the Royal Cataphracts. Gosh, what a, an expensive and one of my favorite adjectives, girthy unit. Is this guy, get, get in formation, you bastard. He's way out of formation. He must have left something in the, uh, in the oven. 
Yeah, yeah, he was getting there late. As here come the boy. It's, it is the most intense staring contest I have ever seen. We'll take a peek above ground. There, there you have it. There you have it. As I see some movement. Maybe it's... Oh, there's a bird. There's a bird flying overhead. Wow. Oh, there's some... Okay, there's some arrow fire. There we go. There, the first excursion of the battle right there. And that vocabulary, folks, is brought to you by uh, the Emperor, damn it. Look at those nice, nice volleys. Opting to hit the cap. Very smart. I like it. I do like it. The Celtic Warriors are weak as well. He could get a good slot there. Here comes the cap, the shot cap, going for the melee. They're not going to get caught by the cap. They're going to get a clean, clean hit, a huge hit as those men get sent to Valhalla. Here's even more chargers. He is not ready for this charge. A huge charge by the Armenians. They got the upper hand right there, but the Spearman, the Levy Freeman, Right, Yana, but look at that. The life force basically already gone. He's shedding tears as he's already lost half of those units. They're gone. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Hey, hey, hey. You're gone. Goodbye, damn it. Goodbye, my lord. There he goes. And here comes the general. The arrows just pelting the backs of those horses. The heavy horse taking damage. And there it goes. There's a nice, nice hit by the general. Is that the general? General on general action. G on G. You know, that gets the emperor going, baby. That gets the Emperor going. Oh, no, boy. Okay, a boy counter charge on the general, the Azat Knights. It is a very heavy melee, so that could uh, maybe hurt him, but they're not a shock cab. A shock cab would have had more devastating effects as the Emperor has blown it. He's blown it hard. He's missed a huge charge. Look, oh, how many men did he kill? He killed 40. 40 men as the boy is panicking, no line formation, moving in the shock cab, going away with 37 kills there. And here comes the first engagement, melee on melee action, baby, there it is. Big hate, big slaughter, swords clashing, men going in a big pillow throw there. As there the lines are engaged, the lines are engaged in marriage, damn it. They are engaged. The Osworn opting to go around, very smart. I have said opting like three times, Vinny, what a shame. What a shame is the Eastern Spearmen are not having it. the Axe Wars? 120 out of 120, look at those guys. But it looks like Boy has lost the upper hand here in this engagement, at least it appears to the Emperor. Is that Shock Cav trying to get away? Look at that. 15 kills on the big expensive units. Not just very heavy, super heavy Shock Cav as they run. Run to the hills. The Osworn are engaged. Oshorn came up big last battle, if you remember, and this there's already a shot cap right in the back. Right in the back, and those boys are gonna be getting hit by some big boys. Those big horses, a huge charge in the back, and here's a noble blood cap looking to slaughter, but there's gonna be a big pillar. Huge pillar. Gosh, I love a pillar. Good pillow though. That just doesn't that just get you out of bed in the morning? But they're not waiting for nothing. Another charge right in the back of your Jesus. Oh my god. <laughs> no man left standing as they are rowdy. Let's take a peek, a grander peek. There's Levy Freeman pushing in. I don't see. Okay, the shot cap is getting engaged. I wonder if he notices that. As the back charges just go in and in and in. But there you see the Armenian Axemen. A tough matchup, but that those cap charges in the back just working wonderfully. Cav into Cav, but some melee there to hit. He was into friendly Cav, but look at that nice, nice hit. He, he, he's cooking up a steak dinner. And look at the routes of the boys. Boy is riding these units un underutilized, can get in, can do anything with them. One of our mania sees that the general is taking huge damage as a big win here for Boy. A big win for the Gauls. They're going up against these, uh, these, these Eastern archers, these Eastern men. And those archers are going to be done. Now he's got a he's got an idea. He, he's got a, a a situation. He can form a line. He can get in. He can crush. He can flank. I like that. But here, surprisingly, well, not so much. I guess he's got the big shot. Cav, get another one. Send him in. Send him in, you wretched bastard. Right into the back. That would be a huge hit. You could go get those guys going quick. As we still see some eastern archers, they're shooting those men. They're doing some decent damage. Some decent damage, this boy is also hitting these Armenian scum here. The Levy Freeman have other way with the axe, but which surprises your Emperor? It surprises him indeed. Boy still solidifying a front line, a nice, nice front line. Who's this? Okay, the Axeman? Those must be, okay, the Armenian Axeman. I don't see a flag, there's the flag. I was like, where's the flag? I like my flags, I need to see one. 
Huge build up right in the back of Levy's gonna get crushed, just slaughtered there. Look how bloody that man is. Oh my god, bloody. He's getting no, just stay down. Stay down, you fool. Stay down. Stay down, you bastard. Oh, is he getting up? You gonna get up? Oh my god, he's cold. Oh, Jesus, that is just tragic. That is just absolutely tragic. He gave one cuff of blood, and that man is done as boy. Got the cab advantage, but these Royal Cataphracts getting the work in, putting in the hours, the days, the weeks. And the years it, but the boy right back at it. It's like bowling balls. Oh my god. Do a barrel roll. He's doing a barrel roll. <laughs> that was just magnificent. Getting some nice charges here. Exciting both the Emperor and the armies themselves. Is this let Axe Warrior looking to do something, but. I would not do it against this royal cataract. They look pissed. They look absolutely pissed. And you can just pick it. A, a pillow throw, okay. But he only got about two men. He only got about two men. And those guys, that was just the biggest hit. Here comes the calf of the boyish gulls. Nice hit there. Nice hit. Getting in there, trying to save those men. Is this a levy? That is a levy. Huge, huge unit. Armenia panicked. Gotta get those guys out of there. He's still, still got about 16. Maybe he's gonna get away with 15. 15. Winning here for Armenia. He's used, what is this? He's used Raising the Banner. He's trying to motivate them and give them a big speech. Slingers, I'm assuming they still got some decent ammo. General doesn't want to get caught for too long. As he's trying to motivate his men, he, he, this unit needs to go. That is the best unit of the Cartley Axemen. These arrows must get involved. Shoot somebody, shoot anything, just shoot together. And the General, just a pillow right, right in the back and they're coming in. The Slingers have chosen their target. They have chosen their target wisely. And these levy, no, do not get engaged. These, if these sword get in there, the, those axe get in there, there's gonna be game ogre for those levy freemen. And my, in my opinion, is that, what the, oh my God, that horse got flung a mile. Jesus, just an absolute country mile sent to the moon and back again, the Slingers. The last gasp of effort for the boy as the melee is won by Armenia. Time to get in, time to work these boys. Put Get them in the gym and start working them hard. Is the Cartley Axeman winning decisively? 22 noble horse, let's check the general. 13, and where's the other shot? The other shot cap decided to go over here, probably smart right in the back of the levy room, as you see they're riding. Still 50 men and they're routed and the light horse has got nothing. Light horse, won't you come? You're trying to shoot those axemen. He's just gonna have to isolate something. General, no, I would not do that, but here he comes. Here comes 300. He's in, he needs a decisive win on these axemen right now. The Cartley axemen, the strongest units. As you see that big knockdown, but now he's pushing through. The axemen are getting back up. How many men? Looks like he lost a couple men, I think. Your emperor thinks. But here's these guys. Does he shoot the general? Does he shoot the Cartley? He's got options. Oh, the general's going for balls out. Oh, no. He is going to be surrounded. That could be a costly move for the boy. It's my boy. It could be a very, very costly move. There's a huge pillow throw on the general. The general routing, but we see two units routing from the Armenian. The thicker minis. The general. Okay. G trade a general for a general. Now we got, what about, we got about five minutes left of this game. What can happen here as the pursuits are on the beat is up on the beat is up on well, these guys must have a ton a ton of ammo but look there is still a royal cataphract and he let's see exhausted and these men fresh so anything can happen here he's get the distance find some distance armenia needs to start you know blocking him off maybe send a unit there way over there i don't know block this man off do not let him run Ooh, a morale debuff he is already getting scared as these horses are trying to rout. Like, I got other men to kill. Get out of my way. Get out of my way, you wretched bastards. He's not just an ass. Here they go. Here comes the fire. This is a big, big move here. The, the, the volley is, is he gonna get the volley off? Here we go, let's see. No volley, oh no. And a big hit by the cataphracts, but once again, reminder, they are tired. Can these slingers muster up any force in this Group A matchup? But oh lord, here come the Axemen and the route is too late. Is you, those slingers over there, we missed it. They did. They routed one unit, but now you gotta hit the Cataphract. They're, they're done. Those Celtic slingers are saying goodbye. 
Goodbye. Time to go home. Time to go home on a nice blanket, huh? I guess it's summer. Maybe go on, go home under. Uh, you know, what were they doing summer? Get some sandals on, go to the beach, huh? Lay on the beach? He could do it as the Slakers are running. They've had enough of this. They need to get into a position to do something. The balance of power, still, still giving it to the boyish scum. Boyish bastards. These horses are very close. Eight men, you see three horses dead from that last girthy yes, engagement. Brother! And there go the Slingers. But he's got to be weary. Look at that red line. It is approaching. It is approaching. And so are these Cav who are trotting very slow. Ah, look at this. The Slingers are back. Are they coming back in? They're coming back in. That is huge. Waffle did not finish off those archers. And that could really, really come back to bite him. Just get in a position. Keep burning these guys around the map. I don't know if those, oh, those guys are going to catch them. Looks like they're, they're, they are breaking in. Oh, no. Oh no, he probably should have started shooting way earlier. But look at this. Does he know? Oh, he's not moving from the red line. Get away from the red line. I'll draw a blue line. No, no, do not. Blue beats red. Come on, blue. You're my boy, blue. Oh boy. He has been hit by the red line and now the calf are going to have their way. I don't think he realizes it yet. I don't know. He's moved. He's going to have to shoot him, but here comes a big hit on a couple of the men. Hey, can he get this heavy armor dude? Just, just, oh no, a slaughter. There's a slaughter on the green pajama man. And they are routed. Now just one unit to tell the story, to tell the fable. This is 300's last stand as here to come the slingers. Big hit. Could potentially make those boys round out. That easy, easy route as he continues his next. Gotta get the cataphracts, right? You gotta shoot the cataphracts somehow. How far away are they? Oh. <laughs> They're too far away. Yeah, just, just start pelting. Keep moving. Buy yourself some time. There's still there's still a chance. Although that horse lost no men. But look at the morale. Steady and exhausted. Right, yes, you, know, you, you just don't want to be steady and exhausted. I've been exhausted. Let me tell you, I just do not want to do anything when I am exhausted, damn it. Come on. And the slingers are fresh, but they're shaken. They're shaken, but not stirred. Let's see what they got here. Any sort of melee impact on these guys is going to send them, send them to the depths of hell. And there's the next, next hit. Good hit, making them route. Let's see if we can get one more sling. He is threading the needle. There it is. There it is. Can he get them gone? Well, oh, they're so, they're gone. They're gone. The huge, oh. Get out of there, no. I'd keep running, run away. The horses are coming, but get out of there. No, get he's just going to try to sling him again. This could be his death. He's, no, he's trying to move. But they got a last gasp ever. The axe with the last gasp ever. And there they go. They're hitting one. They engaged one and boy recognizes it. It is not going to be enough. I don't think they are engaged. And this one is surely over. They cannot sling all these men. They cannot sling. No, they cannot. But look at that, so close, the cataphracts routing If only he moved just an inch away, just ran just a second earlier. What a battle. The Armenian, the Armenian Sir Waffle getting a big, big win in group A, solidifying his position. A big solidification, but uh, you'll have to view the results, I believe, Frank. And Waffle play later, and it's a juicy one. It is a juicy one, but what a battle down to the last couple of troops. Let's take a peek at the stats. Here you go, boy. Those Osorn, boy, oh boy, do those Osorn do good. Two over 200 kills. Goodness gracious, and the noble horse putting up a admirable effort, nearly 200, but the name of the game right there, the Royal Cataphracts and the Persian Cav. Over 500 kills combined, and the Axemen putting up impressive numbers against the Sword Followers. That surprises me, goodness gracious. 1600 kills to 1500 kills, it was down to the last man. Congratulations to Sir Waffle and the Armenian. Remember, man, you can watch this and more every night. Every night on Twitch. Every night on twitch.tv slash curvebubbles, the Emperor is streaming there nightly, damn it. Remember to like this video, please subscribe, and as always, glory, glory to the Empire.